you emailed, you posted on the message boards, and you said again and again, we've heard the crappy game music. Now, give us the good stuff. <laughs> you know those game soundtracks that you can't stop humming? Oh, well, we've done one better than that. Here's our look at great game music, the joy of music. <laughs> already subjected you to the horror of songs. We hunt the sunken treasure in the ocean. When we get some burn, we put on lotion. And you've hated us ever since. To make amends, we thought we'd explore the brighter side of music in video games. Video game music has meager beginnings as a collection of bloops and bleeps. But it was only a matter of time until the technology gave composers all the creative freedom they'd need. One of the first major breakthroughs was SSX for the PlayStation 2. This was the first game to use interactive soundtracks to great effect. The better you played, the more intense the music became. This was taken a step further in SSX Tricky, the first game to be named after a pop song. Original game music doesn't need a gimmick to be great. The music from Metal Gear Solid 2 is as good as anything you'll hear at the symphony. The soothing ambient tracks found in Sega's Fantasy Star Online are incredible, though a bit strange for the subject matter. Original compositions are great, but sometimes you just want to rock out to your favorite song. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 was really the first game to get licensed soundtracks right. It's a perfect collection of tracks for a skateboarding game that includes plenty of classics, not the least of which is Del the Funky Homo Sapiens' Ode to Personal Hygiene. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 kicked the licensed soundtrack train into full gear and inspired the entire industry. So much so that EA has an entire division dedicated to music called EA Tracks that breaks new bands like the Von Bondies. And of course, the ultimate licensed soundtrack is from Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Its 80s tunes proved to be the perfect backdrop for its ultraviolence. Like There's just something about beating someone down to Foreigner. So what's next? The Xbox has already taken it to the next level by allowing players to make their own soundtracks. And applications like MTV Music Generator 3 are letting gamers create their own songs. The A to the D to the A to the M. It won't be long until the two are melded together. Remind me to never play Foreigner again. And remind me never to rap. Oddly enough, the amazing pirate song tends to inspire violence more than Foreigner <laughs> ever could.